Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. In today's video, we're going to be making some beautiful mystical crystal and herb magic wands. So let's get started. So here is the beautiful mold. I'm going to make three of them for now because I may not have enough resin. I used a lot in that beautiful tarot uh, deck display. So I'm making three for now. And I think I know which ones I'm going to choose. Like around those three there. But we'll figure it out. Okay. And here are some of my crystal pieces. The little chips. And they're all labeled. And then here are the herbs that I chose. We have some catnip for love and happiness. Okay. And this is a very special book there. And we have some white sage for wisdom and strength. And we have some red rose petals. Now this is a very special book. It is part of my grimoire. It is a beautiful book from Germany. Okay. Um, and it is a beautiful book about the magical properties of herbs and crystals. And it's only a part of my grimoire. So here's the catnip. It's all attributes of it. Associations. We have some love and healing there. Okay. And then um, I'm going to switch to the next page. Give me one sec. This is the most beautiful book. And we're going to get to... Let's find it. Sorry, guys. Here we go. The Rose Magic. And I am going to put some intention in here and do a self-love wand. Look how beautiful this grimoire is. I actually have different sections of my grimoire. And then here is the sage for wisdom. So I'm putting some intention into each of the wands. Okay. So we're going to also add color correspondences as well. So next are the crystals. I'm going to go over them a little more in a minute. So the amethyst is going to go with the catnip. Amethyst is a beautiful healing um, crystal. And there's many, of course, other correspondence as well. Like, you know, what element is associated to, what planets, all kinds of stuff. So interesting and so much information. But I'm going to use the healing properties. Whoops. And the fluorite is going to go with the sage. And um, here's the fluorite right there. And I'm going to use the properties of um, removing energetic blocks. So I'm going to use the sage for wisdom. And we're going to use the fluorite to remove energetic blocks. And using these, this beautiful blue and green. And last but not least, the rose quartz. Again, many different properties, but I am going to use the rose color, the pink color, for my self-love. Okay, with the rose petals. You can use red rose, you can use pink rose. Any, anything to do with love, it could also be for self-love. Okay, so here I just wanted to share this beautiful part of my grimoire with you. And we're going to get started adding the crystals and the herbs to our mold next. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so amethyst, it is a healing... Um, crystal obviously beautiful purple and we are going to be mixing that with the catnip it is also for healing and love so this is going to be a healing wand and that's the intention i am putting into my wand so we have this beautiful catnip 
and here it is right there I already painted in the purple mica so I used a dark and a light purple mica for my healing wand okay and then after we're gonna mix up the resin and here's the catnip and the amethyst again so beautiful so next is okay we have the fluorite so again we're gonna use this to remove energetic blocks and the colors here are green and blue right there so i want to remove energetic blocks so i can connect more to my wisdom with the sage and my intuition so it has wisdom purification so we are going to make that more of a divination connecting to my inner wisdom wand and i'm using green blue and the white so here you go the green the beautiful light green white in the middle and the blue already painted in last but not least we have the rose quartz again many different associations a lot of information here's the rose quartz but i am going to put the intention of helping with self-love and here i'm going to flip it to the rose petals the rose herb or flower obviously so we have peace love empowerment beauty and protection femininity and venus which is my planet so we have the pe rose petals right there okay and here are the colors i chose tender pink and murk king which is this beautiful gold color and the pentacle right there is a symbol for earth air fire water and the divine and that has the gold right there with the pink so next of course we are going to mix up the resin and pour in our molds okay so the next step i'm doing is i'm adding the red roses to my self-love wand and we're just going to add a lot of the roses and we're going to add that rose quartz right in those sections there where it's actually the mold is shaped like a crystal and i'm going to keep the resin clear because i want to see the herbs and i want to see the crystals um, through the mold actually I don't want to add any extra color to the resin itself and I did paint in um, the colors onto the mold itself so what are we doing next uh, we're doing the sages next that is our wisdom and uh, connecting to our inner wisdom wand and of course we are putting the intention of removing any negative energy or any energetic blocks and we're now going to add the fluorite in those sections where the the mold is actually shaped like a crystal i'm going to add a little more fluorite there and fluorite comes in different colors but the one i have is more of a paler green okay and last but not least we have the catnip right there and it's whoops sorry guys and it's gonna go in our love and healing it's happiness and healing wand i got it all over the place we're gonna just push that right in with a brush take that catnip right in there all right and now we're going to take our amethyst the beautiful purple amethyst and get plenty of it and we're going to put it right in the section just that one section in that one where it is shaped like a crystal and a little more because i really want to see that amethyst all right and that is all the herbs and the crystals in there so i'm going to pour the resin and be back in 24 hours all right guys so i poured it. i left it there for 24 hours i mixed the resin off camera so are you ready to see three two one all right here 
they are. I love this mold. It's really, really beautiful. Very, very detailed and sturdy mold. I love it. I believe I got it off of Amazon. And I did do, I was able to do one more. So I did a protection wand. This one has black because black is the color, of, one of the colors of protection. And I use some St. John's wart for protection as well and happiness. And I use some snowflake obsidian as the crystal. Okay. And this is how it came out. I love them. So here is the amethyst and the catnip wand. I wish it was more 3D like like both sides but I think this is a beautiful size of a mold I think they came out absolutely gorgeous and let me get the sheet of paper so you can actually see a little bit better yeah that's a little bit better so you can see all those the herbs and the crystals and you can see the purple the light and the dark purple mica and I'm so happy I did the clear um, resin. I didn't add any extra color. And here is my protection wand with the St. John's Wart. And I added some black mica and that snowflake obsidian right there. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love them. It is so beautiful. I'm very, very de detailed uh, molds. I love that. The textures and the shape and here is the sage with the fluorite wand with the very pretty blue and green micas and the crystals on either side very very beautiful I love that you could see that blue and that beautiful light green very very well and here, last but not least, is my self-love wand with the beautiful gold and the rose micas with the rose petals and the rose quartz. So I just love this mold. I think it's beautiful. Um, I, like I said, I believe I found this on Amazon. I thought this was just a perfect way to celebrate Halloween or Samhain, whatever you uh, guys follow and celebrate. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to wish everyone a very happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And this beautiful candle i am so sad that halloween has come and gone but i'm gonna enjoy it and guys please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and happy halloween everybody bye